it's cold. Wait, what the heck? Why is it going down? It's cold. No, no. How do you work it? This is not a sick mod. This is a whack mod. Hell, this is whack. This is a trash mod. Oh, thank goodness. Here we go. We finally got it. to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman and Sean. Today what we got for you is a replacement of your automatic climate control if you have a limited Toyota Foreigner years 1999 through 2002. Like you saw in the intro, these buttons can wear out over time and they, they go the opposite way and it's just really frustrating to get it to do what you want. There's been a guy on T4R for the last three and a half years now that has over 1,500 repairs under his belt and his name's John. We're gonna link to John's username on T4R and link his info in the video description. If you have any questions, you can email him directly before you place an order. And if you'd like 10% off, just mention sick mods in that email and your T4R.org username to qualify. If you're not already on T4R.org, this is a good time to sign up and be a part of one of the best forums for the Toyota 4Runner. John's been on T4R.org for a long time, just like us. And although there are other climate control repair specialists out there, John has some unique options. He offers a lifetime warranty, limited tech support as it relates to the climate control repair, and he also offers the option to replace the bulbs with LED bulbs and various colors. He has seen a lot of heater control valves go out, which is not the electronic climate control's fault, but he's been able to offer his expertise and experience with the climate control system and help diagnose issues as they relate to this repair. So we recommend John. He's a good guy. He's been doing these for a while and he does a good job. A funny story, I was at the local pick and pull, picking some parts off some forerunners that happened to come there, and I actually found a limited model that had a climate control and it had a signature red tape on it. So that was pretty cool that uh, I got to snag one of these that was recently repaired, and I actually sent in another one to support John, and so now I have a second one. Since I have a couple forerunners, well, you know how things go. So with all that said, let's jump in the truck and we'll get this thing installed. In order to get to the climate control, we kind of have to take off some things in series. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part off and then we're gonna loosen this up. And then finally we'll be able to get the surround off and get to the unit right here. All right, so I'm gonna open this up, pull on this. Kind of get it up like that. Get your N95 masks out of the way but save them for later because you're gonna need them when you go to the store. So I got kind of a unique setup back here, so don't mind that, but you're just gonna pull that out of the way, lift up right here, and just try to pull this back as far as you can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the key in, I'm gonna slide this all the way back into the furthest gear that way, and then that way I'll have more room to negotiate this area. All right, now that the gear lever is back further, I can kind of just kind of like bend it out of the way. I don't really want to take it off all the way. Now we show the removal of this in other videos. And for those of you that have a 96 through 98, this won't even apply to you because you won't even have this type of unit. But if you wanted to take this off, you would have to pop off the little face plate of your climate control and then there's some hidden screws so if you click on the link above we'll link to our other video where we show how to do that so we'll get behind here and just pry this away i don't have my clock the back plastic broke i'll have to get a new one of those 
wiggle it out of there. And I got kind of a unique setup because I have my CB radio and I have my scan gauge here. And the gardeners are out. Here comes the noise. So with this loose now, you can kind of pry that out of the way. You don't really need to get it out entirely because now we have our actual climate control unit accessible. We're gonna pull off the little plate here. Pulls off pretty easily. And we're gonna attack some Phillips head or JIS screws. If you take a look at this climate control, you'll notice one screw hole here and two on these sides. So two on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. All right, we're gonna go for the two on the passenger side. And then we have one on the left-hand side here. So I'm gonna tuck these out of the way. Now, we'll have to snake this around here. And we have some electrical connections in the back. And we have our little tabs right here. There's two of them. We're gonna press down and pull that out. With these guys, it can be a little stubborn. I like to get a flat head, push it in here, and pry a little bit. And that kind of helps it go along a little bit. Perfect. We got that removed. We'll put in the new one. Pretty straightforward. We'll just connect it back up. We'll put it back in place. Try to snake it around here. Now the nice thing about this is we have this little dowel and this little area on both sides here. And that just helps it line up in these areas here. So now it's nice and lined up. Naturally, we'll put our screws back in where they belong. Don't forget your little face plate here. We'll bring our little stereo surround back into place. Make sure you connect all your wires back up before you push it back in. Just want to make sure you hear them click. And then push it back into place. All right. We'll get this piece back into place. And lastly, You'll get your cup holder back in place. Gotta lift this up. This is my little auxiliary cable coming from my head unit. All right. All right, fire her up. All right, so there you have it. This video isn't so much about how to replace this because it's pretty easy to get in there like you saw. It's more to inform people that they can get this fixed. They can get it repaired. And someone like John that does a good job and has credibility and a lifetime warranty is someone that we're gonna recommend. So I'm stoked that my electronic climate control is finally working correct again like it used to when it was a new vehicle. But she's got some miles on her and hopefully they'll keep on coming. So don't forget to check out the video description to learn more about John and his services. Email him directly if you mention sick mods in the email and you'll get a discount. So that's pretty cool there. And we hope this helps you with getting this thing figured out and getting it fixed once and for all. With all that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. 
If you have any questions or comments, do that below. Take care. Bye-bye. Sick mods, healthy mods. Maybe we'll have to start saying now. And we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. On this episode of Timmy the Toolman and Sean, we do a climate control install. <laughs> <laughs>